Check out this exclusive interview at the G-List Society with your host, Wady G, right now. Hello, everyone. Uh, this is Wady G with the G-List Society blog. Thank you for tuning in to another episode of the G-Chat where I do phone interviews with our favorite LGBT personalities. And usually I only talk to one person at a time during these G-Chats, but I have two special guests on this call and you know them probably on two different, two very big reasons. One, Sunday night at the Grammys, these these two gentlemen were one of the 30-plus couples that were shown on my television being married during the Macklemore performance. And then also, too, for us, those of us who have been long fans of the DL Chronicles, I am talking with the creators themselves, DeAndre and Quincy Gosfield. Hello, guys. How are you doing? Great. Hey. How are you? How are you doing? I'm well. Just want to say thank you, and congratulations on the big day. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I think this is the first time we've been called publicly, verbally, the Gosfields. <laughs> really? Oh, yeah, that, so, that you, so let me ask you this. Is it, do you feel this or what was it, um, Sunday afternoon, or let's just say Sunday afternoon, you were – Mr. Gossett and Mr. Field. Now, or Sunday evening, you became Mr. and Mr. Gossfield. Was there a difference in feeling for either one of you as you now feel like now that you are married men according to the law? Oh, gosh, absolutely. Like, I, I think I put that on my Facebook post a couple of days ago. I didn't think it would change anything, honestly. I mean, we've been together 18 years, and, right. you know, we've pretty much gone through the gamut of what relationships go through. I didn't think too much was going to change. Um, I thought it was just going to mean stuff legally and for taxes. That's that kind of stuff, the stuff I was thinking about. But, honestly, I think it it renewed my my commitment to him, my, uh, my love for him. Um, I think... Um, I, I get I get excited now that I, I get to call I, you know and, and mean it in the in the legal sense that my husband because you know we had a domestic partnership before but it didn't carry the same it didn't carry the same weight so to know that that's my husband now I, it's like it, it's like we got it's like we got to start from a, a yet a brand new place that I thought we were already we had already been to. But it's, it's it's brand new to me. It's like it's I, I, every day since that day has been like I started again. Like the relationship got kick started again. Not that it was lacking anything, but like it just I don't know. Just a, it's just a reminder. It's always a new chapter, right? Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, it, yeah. It reminds me of, and I know this sounds cheesy. It's gonna sound cheesy as heck, but it, you don't realize it when you're just in a relationship but it felt like we were in uh you know we were in a caterpillar stage for 18 years and you know in a cocoon so to speak and we just kind of burst out of that with wings uh it it really feels like everything is on such a bigger grander level and i didn't think that i could love him any more than i already do so that to me was has been an amazing feeling because you know my best friend said to me years ago when he when he first got married that Q I promise you guys he used to tell me in the under all the time I promise you guys when you guys get married back then gay marriage was the last thing on anybody's mind um, oh, yeah. but he said when you guys get married I'm telling you like things change like something in you changes um, and I just thought that just sounds like hogwash because I feel like. You know, I used to say, I feel like if you're committed to someone spiritually, emotionally, regardless of whether somebody declares you man and wife or husband and husband or, or wife and wife, that that shouldn't change how you feel suddenly about them. I, I always felt like if you don't already have that in place and it, it takes a marriage to do that, then, I don't, you know, i got to be a little bit concerned. Um, Absolutely. But it's really the truth. Um, regardless of how committed and in love you already are, something different happens. Some, some There's a different feeling that, uh, you know, it's a whole new school. You know, we're, we're in grad school now. So 
I love it, the comparison. I love the um, analogies here. But...